Hello everybody, welcome to Plan Radar's video on our newest feature, BIM. Plan Radar's BIM model viewer allows construction and real estate teams to gain BIM benefits on the go with smartly simple navigation. Plan Radar's Open BIM solution allows uploads of IFC files exported from Revit, ArchiCAD, AllPlan, Navisworks, and more. And this enables Plan Radar users to work directly on the BIM model. The BIM user experience and functionality has some slight differences between web and mobile, so please watch this full video to understand all your options. Uploading, deleting, and exporting BIM model works the same way as using 2D plans on Plan Radar. To do this, navigate to your Projects tab, select your desired project that you want to upload your BIM model to, and then navigate over to Plans and Layers. Within Plans and Layers, you can click on Create Layers and then click on the green plus to upload your IFC files to have your BIM models ready to use. We've already preloaded a BIM model for us to use, so we'll head over there now. So after uploading your BIM model, it is immediately available within your project. To start working on your BIM model, navigate to your Tickets tab found in the navigation bar, and then select the project that has your BIM model. Make sure you're on the correct layer and make sure you're in Plan View. Now that your model has been uploaded to Plan Radar and is visible on the screen, your BIM model will be centered on the page like so. The default camera view when you open your BIM model will be an orbit camera. The orbit camera operates by orbiting around the center point, which in this case is your BIM model. On the bottom left of your screen, you'll see the navigation cube. The navigation cube will always move in relation to the angle at which you're viewing your model from. This allows you to know exactly which side you are viewing. You can also click on the cube to get that exact perspective, like so. To move around your model, you can use your keyboard with W, S, A, and D. W will move you forward, S will move you backward, A will move you left, and D will move you right. You can also use the scrolling wheel on your mouse to move you forwards and backwards. You will also find two joysticks found at the bottom of the screen to move. The left joystick will move you forwards, backwards, left, and right. And the right joystick will move you up and down the Y axis and also let you move the camera left and right. Now that we have the controls and movement down, we'll now look at the options that you have within your BIM model. The first option we have within the options tab is show occluded tickets. Enabling this option will allow you to see all pins on the model, regardless if they are obstructed by objects or not. If this object is turned off, you will only see the tickets that are in your field of view and not obstructed by objects. The next option we have is walking mode. Walking mode allows you to move the camera in a first person view. Once we have it enabled, you can then look around in first person instead of the default camera, which is orbit. The next option we have is walking speed. This allows you to control the speed at which you move around the model. Next, we have the section plane tool. The section plane tool allows you to hide sections of your BIM model so that you can see inside or past certain sections. This tool is only available on the web app. Once you've activated your section plane, you'll see two section plane walls found in the bottom right corner of your screen. After selecting one, you'll be able to use the arrows here to rotate and move your section plane along the BIM model. And by moving it towards your BIM model, you'll be able to hide certain sections. To work on your BIM model with the section plane in use, click on the wall once again to remove it from your screen. You can then work on your model with the section plane edits in use. To remove the section plane tool completely, open up options and deselect the section plane. Next, we have the measurement tool. The measurement tool is one of my personal favorites. Once the measurement tool is selected, all you need to do is click once on your designated spot, and then you move it to your destination of what you want to measure. And then you click once again with the left mouse button. You then have your measurements on screen and you can start working with that information. To exit the measurement tool, you do it just like you do with the section plane, open up your options, click on the measurement tool, and that will remove all measurements from your model. Next, we have Apply BCF. Apply BCF allows you to upload BCF files directly into your BIM model 
so you can upload proposals and get information on collision and errors connected with specific objects in the view. And you can do that by clicking upload here. You also have the option up here to export data collected within Plan Radar by clicking on the export button and then you have BCF exports. This allows you to sync back to your CAD software, closing the loop for design teams so they can make any necessary changes. Next, we'll look at the model tree. Your model tree can be found over here in the right hand sidebar. Within the model tree, you're able to find every object that is within your model. To navigate to a specific object, you can click through the different layers in your model tree to narrow down to the object you're looking for. Clicking on objects within your model tree will automatically fly you to that object's location. You'll also see in the bottom right hand side, the information of the object. You also have the option to double click on any object within your BIM model and it will automatically fly you towards it. Next, we'll look at floor plan. This can also be found in the right hand side. Clicking on the floor plan will show you a list of the floors you have available within your BIM model. You can select which floors you'd like to view or hide by clicking on the eye in the bottom right hand corner. When the eye symbol has been disabled, that floor will be hidden from view. You can also quickly move between floors by clicking in the middle of the floor, like so. Now, to start creating tickets within your BIM model, you go to your desired location within your model, and all you need to do is right click with your mouse on the desired location. So for this one, it's a broken door. Once you've right clicked with your mouse, a ticket pin will appear. You can then accept or decline that location. In this example, we'll accept it, and this will open up the ticket creation. And now you can type in the relevant information about the ticket. So this is a broken door. The status is open and we'll assign it to Jane Doe to fix. Then we can save and close to create the ticket. On the left hand side, you have a list of all the tickets that are on your BIM model. And by clicking on any of these, it will automatically move you to the location you were when you created that ticket. So this has been an overview of our newest feature of BIM on the web app. And now we'll have a look at the mobile device. After uploading your BIM model via the web app, it is available on your mobile devices immediately after you synchronize your device. You can access your BIM models just as you would with your 2D plans. Navigate to your project and then select the layer with the BIM model. Once you've selected your BIM model, the model will be displayed centered on the screen. At the top of the screen, you can switch between walking mode, orbit mode, and make use of the reposition button. Once you first open up your model will be orbit mode. Orbit mode will allow you to orbit around the current area you are viewing. At the bottom right of the screen, just like the web app, you'll see the navigation cube, which will move in relation to what angle you're viewing your model from. Next, we'll take a look at walking mode. And once that is selected, you'll see two joysticks appear at the bottom of the screen. I'll now be closing the ticket list so we have a full view of our model. The left joystick, is used to walk around the BIM model. It will move you forwards, backwards, left, and right. And the right joystick is to move you up and down the Y axis. You can also use the touch screen to look around in first person when walking mode is activated. You also have the reposition button. Clicking on this will recenter the model and automatically enable orbit mode. So you can orbit around the model again. In the top right of the screen is our options button. Clicking on this will show you the following options. Our first option we'll have a look at is floor plans. Once you've selected floor plans, you'll see a list of all the floors that you have available within your BIM model. And by tapping on the green slider, this will allow you to hide or display that floor, like so. Next, we have the IFC model tree. This works just like the web app version. You can select through the layers to find a list of all the objects you have within your BIM model. Selecting an object, will then give you the object's information. And if you click on center object, it will move you directly to where the object is and x-ray the rest of your model and enable orbit mode so you can look at that object. To exit the IFC model tree, click on the back button in the top left. The next option we'll look at is switch to 2D, 3D view. This option is only available on the mobile app. Choosing it will allow you to switch between an orthographic camera projection which will present your model as if it were a 2D plan and a perspective camera objection, which will show your model in 3D. You can create tickets on both of these projections. 
The next option mode we have is show all pins. This option works just like the web app and will allow you to show all your created pins within your model, regardless if they are obstructed or not. Creating tickets in your BIM model is done the same way you would create tickets on your 2D plans. Click on the green plus found at the bottom of your screen. This will drop the pin, which you can then move to the correct location. Once you're happy, click the green tick and this will open up the ticket creation. Once you've entered in the correct details, you can then click done to create the ticket on your model. Another feature you have is when you select a ticket, you'll see a new icon appear at the top. This is the fly to ticket button. Clicking on this will automatically move you to the location you were when you created that ticket. That was an overview of our mobile BIM viewer guide. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.